वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम बैक विद माई अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ लीड मैनेजमेंट वेब एप इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी विल रिव्यू दिस लीड मैनेजमेंट वेब एप नाउ वी एडिड अ लॉग आउट लॉग इन फंक्शनैलिटी विद थ्री यूजर रोल द एडमिन यूजर रोल द मैनेजर यूजर रोल एंड द टीम यूजर रोल If your member log in as a team, he cannot able to delete your leads. He can only edit or add the leads. Let me take example. First of all, I am going to log in as admin. So here, when I enter my admin login information and click on the login, now I am successfully log in. So you can see here the leads I can see. Uh, so on the top. in the head on the top header we have a button of the log out when i click on the log out so it will say are you sure you want to log out now and when you click on the add lead so you will see a form to add a lead in our google sheet database example uh, i am dam and also uh, i entered the email the phone and the company is acme in and the status is new and the lead start date is 13th october no end date is yet and if i want to add a image of that lead person i simply select and demo image and click on the open so it will select this image no additional notes yet and when i click on the add lead it will save me please wait i am uploading your images and data in our database so you can see here the lead is added successfully now the thing is that the lead added later on will be shown on the first so you can see here and also if you want to click on the edit icon so you can add or you can edit the data for example this new to contacted and the end date is 23rd october and additional note is failed and click on the update lead so when you click on the update lead your lead will be updated successfully so you can see here your lead is updated successfully so here again from the start range date filter what is the start range date filter the start date is this column you can see here the start date is this so in this column if you want to apply a date range filter you can so if you want to see the leads from 1 october to 23rd october so you will see the data between 1 october to 23rd october so if you want to see the data 1 and 2 october so you can see only one data so i am going to refresh now the same thing is that with the end date range filter which apply the date range filter on the end date column also the images will be shown from the directly from the google drive also when you click on this view icon so you can see here your leads look like that and also you can make a print from them okay also when you click on the delete so you can click on yes deleted your lead will be deleted successfully so now your leads is loading you will see only two leads you have right now so when i click on the log out so you can see it, it will confirm me are you wanna sure to log out yes log out now i am going to log in as a team so you i, I already tell to you the team cannot able to edit the team cannot able to delete the leads only add or update the leads so i am going to log in as a team member so you can see here no team members data available yet what's the reason behind that because the team member username is this and in our leads no username found for the team member because team member can only see his own data not other and on the here the manager and the admin have the same roles same authority both can edit delete or add data but the team member can add and update the data so you can see here if i click on the add lead and i click uh, and i enter my name and enter my email enter my phone number enter my company status is negotiating start date is uh, 14th october and date is nothing choose file um, is this and click on the open and add additional notes and here if you have any additional notes you can add so when i click on the add lead it will say please wait it will upload the image in our google drive and generate a link and also submit it the data in our google sheet 
so now you can see here the loading leads is here so now that team members that team member lead is successfully here for example if we created a team member 2 and the team member 2 and the password is the same and also the authority is the same so when i click on the logout so now you can see the team member 2 cannot able to view any kind of data because we can the team member to have not any leads generated yet okay so this feature is added that we have many team members who generate their own leads for our firm for our company so they can uh, only view his own leads are not other team member leads so it will also as security features okay so when you click on the logout you will simply click on the yes logout and when i click on i am uh, logging as a admin so now you can see here i can see all the data with the team member one also i can see all kind of data all team members all managers data okay so this is the negotiating now i have right to delete this but the team member cannot have right to delete this example i am going to lo log out and uh, here i am going to log in as a team member and also i will enter their password and click on the login so when i click on the login so you will see the team member one has only one data but there is no uh, delete icon here he can simply edit their data not delete their data only view data or add data or update data not delete the leads the delete leads uh, authority will only be the company owner or the admin and the manager team manager okay so here's you can uh, again uh, you can copy you can uh, download excel file pdf and take a print from like that okay so this is our web app of the lead management system with three admin with three roles admin manager and team and in the leads section b column is specified for the username what happened when a someone is logging so it will check if a team member so it will check it match their username in the b column if the username match any kind of data in the b column it will show that particular login the portal okay so this is a system so when you uh, how to set up this web app so, uh, when you see uh, when, when when you get this file from our and on the patreon so you just simply click on the file click on make a copy when you click on make a copy you can rename your file and click on make a copy after uh, click on make a copy you will see this kind of google sheet in your front end because a copy is successfully copied in your google drive now you just click on extensions click on the app script and when you click on the app script the data the code the data code is already in our app script editor so now uh, any any folder you have in your google drive or you can create a new one open that folder either it's empty from the url bar just copy that just copy that folder id and replace and replace with the folder id with this and click on the save icon and click on the deploy and click on the new deployment and after making the new deployment you will get a link of your web app and you can easily access your web okay so open this url and you can see your login your portal is here so now you can enjoy your lead management web app impressive web app must make a comment in our video i really really liked your suggestions in my comment I read your all comments love you so much for supporting me from for a long time take care